Hey, welcome to Camping with Steve. Today we're building our super powered camping shower. And before we do that, I'm just gonna do some dishes here. I know what you guys are gonna say, but I'm in town anyways and it only costs a buck to hose them all off, so. Put her on rinse and give her a blast. We're making a shower and if you've gone camping before you may have used one of these little shower bags it holds a paltry five gallons and drizzles out like nothing but this is camping with Steve so we're not going to use that what I have set up here is the shower stall using a garden hose and a garden sprayer nice little private area here and that leads to one inch gasoline powered water pump and that draws its water from I dug a hole and we're using this as a reservoir so I heat up the water and I just dump it in there and used to be a foot valve on here that would stop debris from getting in. The pump can handle, I think, quarter inch solids coming through it, rocks, etc. But I just stuck a sock on there with an elastic band because there's little limited resources out here and there's a lot of bugs working their way in there. So to heat up the water, you're gonna use a little camp stove. We've filled up our cauldron here with water out of the reservoir. That thing probably holds about 30 gallons when it's completely full. And that's ba basically what a conventional water heater in a house will hold, actually literally. So we're going to cook it on this camp stove. Of course, it's camping with Steve. So the problem with these is you won't be able to see this flame, I'm certain of that. These camp stoves, have an indifferent little 4,000 BTU burner. So as a gas fitter, I powered up this burner. And I had this one clocked at around 30,000 BTUs. So that's what we're gonna boil the water on. Now it didn't take too many loads of water in here to warm it up to something comfortable that I'll easily be able to shower in. And I could boil it up more, but that's good for me and time to test out the pump and see how it all works. All right, we're gonna turn on the pump here. See how this works. Yeah, that is a high pressured shower. We'll adjust the angle a little bit. It's overshooting because of the high pressure, but various different settings we could use on this nozzle. Now we got a full 30 odd gallons to work with there. So that's gonna be good. I'm gonna jump in this bad boy right now. I'll save you the grief of watching that. You don't wanna see that. And then we're gonna Go out probably looking for bears maybe. See what's out there in the distance. Oh, that did work out well. It's actually got better pressure than a household shower. 
on account of the two or three horsepower pump pushing it. So the sun is starting to dip below our little mountain here. That makes it dark around here. And today's been a little bit hot uh, on and off. So the bears probably haven't been out yet. And we're gonna see what we can see. All right, out on the logging roads, we're searching for bears. Mom with a couple of cubs. Cubs trying to climb the tree a little bit. Cubs. One cub. Those bears are getting closer and closer and closer. What used to be 
seven or eight kilometers away, so four or five miles. They've gotten a lot closer than that. We saw them out today at around one and a half kilometers, which would be around one mile from the campground. And there's a lot more of them and they're coming closer. So dinner time, we normally do it kind of in the thing right by the campsite. We are going a lot further away today to cook this thing. And there's nice scenery here too. So we're gonna cook a meal and get back to the campsite and hunker down. Caribou Mountains over there. Rocky Mountains over here. And this is where we cook. Hey, welcome to Cooking with Steve, a show within a show. Of course, we, fit, we planned the most delicious tasting thing for tonight when we've realized all the bears are so close, which is half the reason we're way out in the clear cut here, but enjoying the scenery. Anyhow, I'm gonna start by frying some bacon. This is about four slices worth, chopped up. on the tame burner, not the super one. Classic, classic camping meal. We got the bacon crisping up, the fat surrendered out of it. So next step is three simple ingredients. I've got them pre-prepped, so I don't have to do this out here. But probably half a pound worth of sliced mushrooms, Got a quarter of an onion diced, and I got six cloves of garlic diced. So, like I said, right, the bears wouldn't be interested in this sort of thing, would they? And we'll let this simmer down, and as you know, mushrooms turn into basically nothing after you've cooked them, so this will go down a little bit more, and this is gonna form the sauce of our bacon and mushroom angel hair pasta and it'll be having a cream base on this with uh, white wine so traditional camping meal I've got everything sauteed in there right now fairly well so I'm gonna add a quarter cup to a half cup of white wine. I'm using Sal Blanc, just uh, normal house wine. And I'm gonna let it further reduce. And at this point, if you're using a pan, a pan other than this, this one's really a ceramic non-stick thing. Uh, if you need to deglaze the pan, this is exactly where you're gonna do that. So we are going to let this meld for a while and we'll continue, actually, we'll get some water started for the pasta on the other burner. That's the supercharged burner. So, beautiful wife is out of frame right now because some people know she's a teacher, doesn't want to appear on YouTube. Uh, not everybody's as nuts as me with going on camera, so. I'll be back to you in a little bit here. The water is coming to a boil now, and I'm gonna be adding angel hair pasta because it cooks fast, and I like the texture. It's nice and thin. Absorbs more sauce, more surface area there. So I'm taking down the actual meal to pretty well simmer, very, very low heat. I'm adding, I have half and half cream here, 10%. I know I'm gonna have a heart attack, bacon, cream, everything else. Now the recipe is calling for a quarter of a cup of this, but you can eyeball it to where you're gonna need it to be. You don't wanna boil this once you've got the cream in there. That can cause it to curdle. So you've got that in on nice and low. And Parmesan, a major brand of Parmesan grated cheese from the deli section. And 
It also calls for about a quarter cup of this, so throw in what I think is a liberal quarter of a cup. Stir this guy up and get her to thicken up. And I'm going to throw in the pasta here in just a moment. Guys, the way this is smelling right now, we're gonna get out of here right away after we eat this because there are gonna be bears all over the place. Oh, especially with the mosquito in the pasta. Out you go, little guy. All right, the pasta is done and not a moment too soon. This is all ready to plate, which is great because the mosquitoes are out, but I'm just gonna Toss a little olive oil in with the pasta so it won't stick together. And it'll give it a little bit of a nice flavor as well. We're gonna plate this up and go eat it in the truck away from the mosquitoes. Okay, bugs are eating us alive. Uh, time to have this hastily plated dinner. Thank you. And then we'll see you back at the camp. Dinner was delish, guys, on the way back to the campground. And we're gonna set the fence and trim around it for any weeds that could affect the performance of the fence. And we're gonna hunker down tonight. And tomorrow, we'll be back at it again. Okay, that guy was just born, like. <laughs> Just, just born, can barely even walk. Come on, Mom. Hi, Mama. Yeah, that is just born like today. Wow. Don't worry, Mom. Get to some safety. There's bears out there. Very close by. Hi, baby. <gasps> That's the smallest deer I've ever seen. That's like a preemie. Yeah, it's... We're not gonna hurt you, Mom. We'll just back up, actually, and let them get into the forest. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, shake yourself off. Follow Mom. Come on, baby. Good job. There you go. All right, back at the tent at the campsite. That was crazy seeing that little baby deer like just, just born. But with all the bears, I'm going around the uh, electric fence before I turn it on. Any of these weeds that come up that start to confront with the energized wires, I'm just gonna pull them out so it doesn't cause undue interference with the voltage that we're delivering to the fence. And, and then we'll charge up the fence and hunker down. Morning guys, had a really good sleep last night. Uh, didn't hear any signs of animals outside or anything like that. A beautiful day here. So we're gonna, I was gonna make some breakfast. We're just gonna head right into town for some supplies because it's gonna be brutally hot today and our cooler kind of needs some reorganization. It's at that point, it's been so many days that start to get wet and messy and you know, there's stuff to be thrown out, there's more ice to be bought. So we're gonna head into town and that's the plan, guys. Also, if uh, you do like these videos, please uh, subscribe if you, if you want to. Uh, and if, if you logged in on a friend's account, uh, just subscribe, they're never even gonna know. And if they want to unsubscribe, they can just unsubscribe later. And it's free, and it's a good thing to do. So uh, do it if you want. And we're heading to town. 
and get some more supplies. Thanks, guys.